as a kicker, field goal kicker, and Paul Allen as a field goal kicker. Incomplete. Anderson, the intended receiver, Tom Zach's throw was just... It is complete over the middle. The ball popped loose in the end zone, but the play has been blown dead. About the 14-yard line. 92 yards in the ball game for Jemison. Third down six. This one complete to Byers. Byers first down out of bounds. 28-yard line. Gain of 14. I'm NBC, the Orange Bowl. Nebraska number one. Miami the home favorite. Contact. Lots of time. Incomplete. At the 44-yard line. Going to John Frank. And that's where it really gets dangerous. When he looks downfield, when Tom Zach can look downfield, look downfield, and his primary receiver is covered. We'll see here is a fake. Now nobody's covered. Now it gets dangerous when he can break outside the pocket. You see he had a receiver wide open. Jemison, I believe it was, had him wide open. It, it disrupts the entire flow of the receivers and the entire coverage, and then you can get a big play. This is one of the two field goal kickers for Ohio State. That Rich Spangler, number 87, Paul Allen, is the other one. Could be either kicker. We don't know yet. We don't know if it'll get that far. Here's Byer. Breaks the tackle. Fights his way across the 35 and out of bounds, stopping the clock with a minute 39. But the Buckeyes need to pick up a lot of real estate if either kicker is to come into contention. Tom, minute, 39 seconds left to go in the Fiesta Bowl. Third and three. Roman Bates. Bates has the first down at the 42-yard line. He needed three. He got seven. One minute, 33 seconds left. Steve Abke, the freshman, makes the tackle. It really has, hasn't it? Here's the pressure. The pass is incomplete. Byers, the intended receiver. Bill Moss was putting the pressure on the quarterback. So bring it back to the 42-yard line. Seven, second down and 10. 71 Moss getting in, putting the pressure. Tom Zach only sacked five times all year. Throws it away. Apke was there. Almost made the interception. Go, 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 Bill go. Moss, Newtown Square, Pennsylvania. Ottawa Mitchell All-America. Number 71 for the Panthers. Second down and 10. Ohio State at their own 42. Comes out. Pressure again. Close. Almost intercepted by Troy Benson, but he couldn't hold on. The wind, by the way, blowing from left to right now at 18 miles an hour. The wind is at Tom Zach's back. He has a receiver down the middle who is open. Tries to get the ball to him and just didn't pull up and get his arm behind it. Almost intercepted. Troy Benson with four interceptions during the regular season. Couldn't hang on to this one. 121 left to go. Whenever you make a first down. Third down and 10. Come on, come on! Come on! Ball is incomplete. It will be fourth down and 10 for Ohio State. The Buckeyes ball on their own 42-yard line. They have one timeout remaining. Pittsburgh has one timeout remaining. So we're down to the first of the crucial plays with 1.16 left to go. There's a leading receiver on the Ohio State team and the most valuable player, John Frank, getting the play from Earl Bruce, taking it in. I wouldn't be surprised if it would go to John Frank because he's been their bread and butter all year. All Big Ten tight end, 4.6 speed. 3-9, that's his great point out. Fourth and 10. Break of the draw, here's the pass, it's there. It is John Frank, academic, All-America, All-Big Ten. Flag is down. Flag down back at the 37-yard line. And Bob, you call it. You said you go to your bread and butter man as a quarterback. You know who you want to go to. You like those tight ends that can get open, and you like those backs that can catch the ball out of the backfield.
offsetting penalty. It's a double foul. Did it occur after the play or before? If it occurred after the play, they get the first down. Right. And it looks as though that is what's going to be uh, the case. The microphone not working. It is a dead ball foul after the play was over. You're right. It is a first down, and Ohio State has possession at the pit. 45-yard line. New life. Fourth down and 10 or whatever. John Frank, four receptions, 54 yards. No more statistics, I promise. Right. 109. Only one, and that's the score. Wide side of the field is this way. You got Frank and the wide side. You almost look to have had something come this way. As time to throw goes back across the field to Byers. Incomplete. 59 seconds left. Second and 10. Woodward. Inside the 40. Chris Dolman for the defense. Clock is stopped with a timeout. They're going to mark the ball at the 39-yard line. Going deep in the end zone. There! Touchdown! Bad Jimison! 39 yards! Seven, 23, 39 seconds left. I promise no more statistics, but I have to tell you, Jimison tying the Fiesta Bowl record. Eight receptions, 131 yards, and the go-ahead touchdown. I can't say enough about Jimison and Tom Zach. Tom Zach rolling to his right, read it all the way. I was just Foch Fazio, not too happy. Ohio State, obviously. Been a great game, Charlie. Both back and forth. Pittsburgh went ahead. Two point conversion missed. Kicked the field goal. It's had everything. Extra point attempt. It's good. It will take a look from the end zone. The fake rolls to his right, the wide side, and throws back to the short side of the field where Dean, 28, had to cover two people. You can see Dean throwing his head up in disgust. He throws this ball back into the short side of the field. Something that you wouldn't expect. Three wide receivers down the middle. Great play. Jemison. And a souvenir of the stands. And if you're Foge Fazio, this is the way you react. Foge is pointing where all the receivers were going. That's what he was doing. 